channel it's a girl Danja Michaela here and I'm back again with another video and if you're new here I'd love it if you subscribe and join the family and if you're not new thank you so much for coming hey guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl Danja Michaela here and I'm back again with another video if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and join the family. And if you're not new, thank you so much Boo, for coming back and watching another video. Okay? So this is the part 2 to my juicy Q&A video. If you haven't watched the last one, go check it out. I have it linked in the... I don't know what this card again. The icon cards bar thing. So yeah. I have it linked for you guys to go check out the part one to this video and uh, yeah let's just get into the question one question I got is what's your favorite makeup look um, my favorite makeup look is this that I have on right now full like really simple beat like it's full glam <laughs> sorry it's full glam but not like you know no eyeshadow no nothing cuz guys I honestly sometimes I really can't deal with eyeshadow guys like honestly it takes way too much work I do my face like under 10 minutes so this like simple glam is like my everyday makeup look is my favorite makeup look the next question is do you enjoy makeup yes I do um I enjoy everything about makeup I enjoy buying makeup I enjoy doing makeup, I enjoy doing my own face, I enjoy watching makeup videos, like overall love makeup, literally. Um, what do you study at UE? I do management studies, that's what I'm doing. I was going to do a um, double major but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm planning on doing something completely out of my field of study. For my masters so stay tuned for that the next question is <clears throat> what's your life journey thus far so my life journey thus far what's my life journey I don't know um, my life journey right now is just perfecting my craft um, as a makeup artist you know I want to really go deeper into it I want to become a beauty educator like that's how far I want to go into makeup because that's how much I love it guys like seriously um, I also want to do classes you know and I have um, other stuff that I have to keep silent about you know not trying to jinx anything so yeah my journey you know I feel like it's just be um, beginning because you know I'm now 21 like a lot of stuff are happening for me you know and I know that God has a lot of plans for me so it's just beginning so I can't really tell you guys everything right now the next question is what's the worst slash funniest date you have been on to be very honest with you sis um I've never been on a date you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand I've been on a date sis like oh uh, listen I don't know if it's me or it's just the guys that you know attempt to be with me or whatever but I ain't never been with no romantic ass nigga. Like, these niggas out here are trash in Jamaica seats, okay? They are trash. I've never really been on a date, per se, you know? I've never really been asked out. I have been, but it's with people that I'm really not interested in, so I can't count that. But yeah, I haven't been on a date before. The next one is give us one of your fantasies. I'm gonna get one of my fantasies. Um, listen to me, okay? I don't really have fantasies like right that. I do, but like, oh my god, my fantasy is just my life. Yeah, my fantasy is just basically how I want my life to be. Like, 
with the beautiful black man that the Lord will bless me with, okay? My husband and me getting up every day and seeing that beautiful face and him seeing my beautiful face, you know, he gotta, you know, that type of itch. Ooh, 12 inches is a feat. You know, that's, 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 that's my fantasy, guys. The next one is, have you ever sneaked out? No. Man, I've, I've, I've been on the road before and come in really late. That, if that count, but I've never sneaked out, man. My people are crazy, okay? Never bother to do them something. <laughs> but never really bother to do them something, like I'm a queen about so, you know, and... I never really have nobody for sneak out too. So I sneak out for so I'm never really interested in all of that. So yeah, I've never sneak out before. Um something that you've done that your mom doesn't know about. I'm not gonna say that on my channel, okay? <laughs> There's nothing really that I've done that my mom doesn't know, really. To be honest, I don't know. Some things I feel like should figure out for yourself and just know. But yeah, me and my mom are really close, so it's not like she she don't know certain things. She knows certain things, so you know, yeah. So the next one is, what's your biggest regret in life? I don't really have regrets, to be very honest. Like I don't. But I have a lot of things that I would want to do differently um, back in the day. But yeah, yeah, I don't really have regrets like that. I don't really regret anything in my life because I haven't really done anything that like really traumatized like my well-being or whatever. So yeah. Um, if I'm like being real, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have regrets. Um, the next one is any shift in friendships lately? If so, what made you realize? Yes, there have been some shifts in friendships. You know, friendships that you know you would never think based on hope, based on you know the history of me and these friendships you know you would never think that there would be a shift but there was and what made me realize it's just that you know when you're the only person always putting out the effort for people and you don't really get the same energy or whatever um then you kind of realize that okay probably that means you know they're not re no longer interested in you or you know they want in the friendship or whatever so you know it all has to do with you picking up energy because as i'm an energy person you know i give off what you give me so if i start to see some type of energy sis i'm finna just fall all the way back and sit my ass down and relax like i'm not going to force anything yeah so that's just it you know and I I have to be the bigger person and understand that people grow apart people it is not everybody was meant to be in your life forever people come in your life for a reason and some of y'all people need to get that okay so I'm gonna be for nobody like it is what it is okay? it is what it is it is, it is what it is <laughs> Yeah. Um, the next question is the type of music that I like. Um, I'm a soul baby. I really, really, really enjoy soul music. Um, 80s, 90s, se even the 70s. I really enjoy that type of music. Like I like R&B too. Um, dancehall, of course. Um, rap, hip hop. Yeah, that's the type of music that I like. The next question is do I like traveling yes I do I've never I've only traveled twice though which is really sad 
um, but I like the idea of traveling. I want to start traveling as long as Miss Rona decides to pack up and leave. I'm gonna start traveling, you know, traveling by myself and stuff like that, going to different places. The next question is, how are the online classes, girl? Having me in my bed in a class is not ideal for me it's not good but yeah i do try to focus though and um actually at like be attentive in my classes but they're not that bad you know i thought it would be worse yeah classes are really good for me the next question is what motivates you the most um what motivates me the most is the fact that i am a fine ass young lady okay ask me how that motivates me <clears throat> let me show you okay me being <laughs> okay i saw can't see it as hell but i don't care me being like this being this beautiful you know i have to achieve everything i want in life okay motivates me is literally me want like me seeing myself successful me being able to drive my own car even though i don't know how to drive right now but me having like the idea in my head you get what i'm saying me being in my biggest house or apartment or whatever by myself and knowing that i pay my bill you know like me being able to buy luxurious items do my hair do my nails and just being successful and stress-free is what motivates me. So I gotta do what I gotta do right now in order to get there, okay? Okay. The next question is, when I was transitioning, did you blow dry your hair after washing it or let it air dry? I don't even remember transitioning, to be honest. Yeah, I blow dried my hair, I think. I really honestly I don't remember what I did when I was transitioning I think I used to um I used to wash my hair and then honestly I don't know guys I really don't know what I did when I was transitioning but a part of me wants to say I didn't blow dry it that's what a part of me is trying to say is that I didn't blow dry it. I used to wear like twisters but that wasn't the case I used to do sleep back buns all the time when I was transitioning so yes I must have blow dried my hair all the time I really don't remember guys and the last question in my Q&A is if you could change one thing about myself what would it be um okay, first of all the only thing I don't like about me in terms of my body I'm going to say them physically and emotionally, like emotionally. Um, physically, I would change my height. I, I, I don't know. And I don't care what anybody wants to say. I do not like being this tall. Okay. I am 5'9 or 5'10 by the way. I don't even know. But I don't like being this tall. Okay. Um, em emotionally, it's the fact that I have this huge guard up with people. I don't trust people um, you know I yeah and I'm very very um, I always have a resting bitch face you know I look mean but I'm not um, you know and I'm very I look very unapproachable sometimes so that's one thing I would want to change <laughs> um, emotionally I guess but yeah so that's basically it guys that's it for my instagram q and a video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and you know like the video comment share with your friends and your family you know post it on your ig all that good stuff you know and also follow me on all my social media at the angel michaela they will all be linked down below in the description box okay so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.